A brand new species of snake has been unearthed in India, and it may have been the largest snake to ever exist. Welcome back to Paleopedia and meet Vesuki Indicus, a ancient species of Matsoayid snake from India around 47 million years ago. The Matsoayid family of snakes existed for about 100 million years, starting in the late Cretaceous period. They eventually went extinct during the Pleistocene epoch, and they are now believed to have contained potentially the largest snake to have ever existed, Vesuki. Because it's such a new species, it's only believed that Vesuki Indicus was a member of the Matsoayide family of snakes, but the size estimates for it range between 36 to 50 feet in length. That puts it at about the same size as Titanoboa, the current record holder for the longest snake in the world, and Titanoboa existed about 10 to 12 million years earlier than Vesuki. Something important about that size estimate, and I appreciate that the author of this new discovery, Devajit Data, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, listed, is that due to the fragmentary remains of not just Vesuki, but also Titanoboa, we don't know which one was bigger. Both species could have gotten longer than 50 feet. So was Titanoboa bigger? We don't know. Was Vesuki bigger? We don't know. We'll have to find more fossils to really know. This new discovery though is still important because it's such a massive snake so much later than the last massive snake lived. Titanoboa is believed to have been able to get as big as it did due to a couple of factors, specifically a very warm climate. Since snakes are cold-blooded and they have to use the sun's heat and the temperature to warm themselves up, they can be limited in size because of that. And the earth 58 to 60 million years ago was a lot warmer than it is today. So that likely allowed Titanoboa to get bigger, but also the lack of the dinosaurs probably factored in to Titanoboa's size. The giant dinosaurs went extinct only about 5 million years prior to Titanoboa's existence, so there was a niche available for a really big snake to exist. And by the time that Vesuki evolved, a lot more time had passed. It's now been around 15 to 20 million years since the dinosaurs went extinct. The mammals have started getting really big and filling those big animal roles. So Vesuki probably had a little bit of competition to get big, but it was still able to do so, indicating that the climate then was also very warm. Due to the size of Vesuki, it's believed to have been an ambush predator. It likely wasn't capable of being an active forager like some species of snakes today are. More likely, Vesuki hunted similarly to a modern day anaconda, kind of hiding in wait and just striking at whatever prey got too close. And just like other really large snakes, Vasuki probably killed its prey using constriction, just squeezing the air out of its lungs until it suffocated. Obviously, Vasuki no longer exists today. It ended up going extinct probably around 45, 44 million years ago, and not even its family of snakes, the Matsoayidae family, exists today. They ended up going extinct during the Pleistocene Epoch, likely due to climate change and potentially even human activity. Whatever the reason for its extinction, that doesn't take away the fact that Vesuki was one of the largest, if not the largest snake to ever exist. More studies need to be done and more fossils need to be unearthed of both Vesuki and Titanoboa to figure out who was the biggest. But for now, let's be thankful that both snakes don't exist today.